Hey gang, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at a laptop. And I don't normally review laptops, but when I do, I review a laptop from a company nobody has ever heard of before. Today we are taking a look at the System 76. Galag Galago Galago Gala Galago. Yes, the System 76 Galago Ultra Pro Ultrabook. Does this thing have what it takes to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with some big names like Apple, Dell, and HP? Let's find out. The Galago Ultra Pro weighs in at just four pounds and is three quarters of an inch thick. That would be pretty impressive about, oh, 18 months to two years ago. But in this day and age, we've got the Dell XPS 13, the Lenovo X1 Carbon, and the HP Spectre, and the new 12-inch MacBook. It feels a bit chunky when compared to those machines, but hiding under that chunk is some serious hardware. The laptop sports a fourth generation Core i7 4760HQ running at 2.2 gigahertz, an Intel Iris Pro 5200, 16 gigabytes of 1600 Gig megahertz DDR RAM, BGN Wi-Fi card, and a 120 gigabyte SSD. The screen is a 14.1 inch full 1080p matte finish IPS screen and also has a 720p HD webcam, which I've covered up with tape for some reason. I have no idea why I did that. On the left side of the machine, we find a full HDMI port, a mini display port, a full ethernet jack, and the power port. On the back of the machine, we find a single Kensington lock and exhausts for the fans. On the right side of the unit, we find a microphone and headset jack, three USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card reader. Out of the box, the unit came with Ubuntu 14.04 installed, but none of the System76 specified drivers were installed before I opened the box. Also, the SSD that came with it, which was a 120 gigabyte SSD, died within the first week of getting the unit. All correspondence with the original seller on Amazon were ignored. So I thought I was stuck with a burned out machine. So I went ahead and replaced the dead SSD with a 256 SSD from Samsung, specifically an Evo 840. Actually, what happened was I was able to contact Samsung. They replaced the drive and upgraded me to an 840 256 because, well, they didn't have any of the 120s in stock anymore. So there's that. And after an OS restall up to 15.04, I was able to get a lot of the features working along with going to the support site on System76 and upgrading all of the necessary drivers. I'm happy to report that the laptop is now 100% usable. The unit also has just the right amount of friction on the hinge for when opening the laptop lid. A lot of laptops these days require you to use both hands, one to hold the base and one to lift the lid. This one, the tension is just perfect. Opening the lid, we find speakers on the sides of the keyboard, a 10 keyless keyboard, and a trackpad right in the center of the body. All of this looks good until you start using it, and you discover that there are some real problems with this keyboard, trackpad, and overall build quality. This unit is not actually produced by System76, but rather commissioned from a Chinese company called Clevo, specifically the Clevo W740SU. This machine is also sold as the Senkner, Senkner, I think is how you pronounce it, S413, and the Sager NP2740. If you are considering buying this unit, I would look for those two as well, and look up multiple reviews online first. Now let's talk about the build quality. It's not good. In fact, it's some of the most disappointing I have ever seen. The screen and lid deform and flex so much that I'm terrified I'm going to break it and the plastic of the palm rest and keyboard flex and deform as well. The keys have a decent amount of travel and typing feels somewhat pleasant, but the key placement is odd. Most laptops with a 10 keyless design have the left side of the space bar lined up with the left side of the trackpad. This is to ensure that the trackpad stays between the palms when typing, but not here. Instead, the palm on your right hand has to rest on part of the trackpad. It's not good design and it causes the mouse to, and cursor to flail all over the place while typing. And speaking of the trackpad, it's not exactly good, but it does get the job done. Sadly, the trackpad has a slight delay when you go to use it, 
and it specifically happens when you do a two finger or a left click to get the properties menu to come up. It doesn't make any sense why it's so slow. If you plug in a mouse, it's instant. With the trackpad, nope, slow. Even with the latest drivers for Ubuntu 15.04. Also, the trackpad has this weird tendency to be overly sensitive at times. I was able to blow on it and get the mouse to move at times. To add insult to injury also, there were times where I would push gently on the plastic just to the side of the trackpad and the mouse would just shoot off in the direction of where I was pushing down on the plastic. It is not a well-designed trackpad at all. Now, if you're going to game on this thing, I would highly suggest a mouse. The display is all right. It is a matte finish, but even with the latest drivers in both Windows and Ubuntu, it's muddy and fuzzy and just does not feel good to look at. It's not a pleasant screen. The Iris Pro Graphics benchmarks come out to be a little less powerful than a GTX 650. With an MSRP of $1,200, I cannot recommend the System76 14-inch Galago Ultra Pro. There are just too many problems with this thing for that amount of money. If you're going to spend $1,200 on a, on a laptop, you better be getting a machine that's much better assembled and just can do more than what this can. Now, if they can fix the build quality issues and the trackpad and maybe put a true IPS screen on here as opposed to the matte finish screen that they've got that's garbage, then you've got a compelling laptop. But right now, this thing's just, I can't call it garbage, it's just a disappointment, a severe disappointment. So if you've got to go out there and get yourself a $1,200 laptop, I would strongly recommend going with a Lenovo or a Dell or, well, let's just stick with Lenovo or Dell for right now. Or heck, you could get a used Alienware PC and play some games. Or you could get a lot of other better solutions for that money than this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. I want to do more technology reviews and maybe tighten them up and make them a little shorter for you, but I would definitely like to do more. So if you like to see these, let me know. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.